Hey guys, it's Jennifer Moon and it's my first energy update. So anyways, so Mercury retrograde. So that was until August 2nd. And if you're sensitive to me, like me, you kind of sort of feel Mercury retrograde before it starts, during, and after it's kind of finishing. And it ended August 2nd, 2019. And, and then... You know, um, the Lion's Gate, which is like a big energetic, supposed to be like this big energetic portal. And um, that's August 8th. And then my mom said, you know, she felt this big energetic shift August 5th, which is right before the um, August 8th portal. And just like the sensitives, like the sensitives were feeling that before the... August 8th portal coming through so we're feeling that in advance and I felt that too August 5th things are already shifting things are already changing a lot of the old stuff coming out energetic sh shifting out with the old preparing for in with the new um and uh you know I had a vision uh, last year, um, maybe even the year before, um, that uh, closer to the time of bigger energetic shifts, and I do always feel like it's close to the Lion's Gate, which I guess I thought last year would be even bigger, but it just seems to be accelerating. It's it's not just one big, of, you know, the, the event, but it's like events, it's like waves. But I don't know if there is the big event. I did see the light, which I'll talk about the light that I saw maybe in a later post. Um, but I thought that there would be like a purple and pink more lights in the sky. You know, I tend to see the sun set. I don't see a lot of sunrises and not so much of a morning person. But I thought I would see more purple and pinks. And... I didn't know what that represented exactly. And then I saw on August 27th um, an article, and of course for me, space.com, um, August 27th, Space Weather News. Why are sunsets turning purple um, around the Northern Hemisphere? An unusual color in the sky, purple. <laughs> and um, I always think of St. Germain, blaze, blaze, blaze the violet flame. And I think of uh, Archangel Michael. Um, so it says the phenomenon is probably a result of two volcanoes, which recently spewed sulfurous gases into the stratosphere. Get the full story. Um, Spaceweather.com. So, <laughs> so two big volcanoes. And I have felt for a long time that um, in addition to the pole shifting, uh, we're going to be having more... In addition to the global warming, we're going to have more severe weather, more severe uh, storms, volcanoes, earthquakes, hurricanes, tropical storms, um, and, and that type of thing. You know, hotter summers, colder winters, more snow. And then in addition to, I, I feel that the, the pole is shifting. And then, you know, it's, it's not just... It's, it's scientific is showing that the Arctic is shifting over. So, um, anyway, so, um, in addition to that, um, I feel, um, so this is a big energetic wave right now. And, um, that a lot of people like sensitives, um, empaths, highly sensitive people, um, uh, are really getting sick right now. Um, you can catch a bug and that type of stuff, but it really represents what you're going through as at a soul level. You're pull, digging up, I keep doing this motion because it's really you're dragging up the old energies from past lives, from this life, we have reincarnation, if not, that's fine. Um, just soul level energies. And some of us have chosen to drag up uh, earth energy. So we're pulling, you know, from our chakras up through all of our from the earth up through our chakras so earth energies and we're really connecting to the earth and the earth energies are really intense right now 
um, because there's a lot going on and we're connected to that and it's very deep. Um, and so, but it's good. I know it's, it seems like we're sick and it is lasting forever. We're getting an injury all of a sudden. So please just try to take the deep breath. I need to also, and just take this time of rest and take this as a blessing and say, thank you universe for this time of reflection. Thank you for this download. You're getting downloads of your new abilities, please. Thank you for this download. Um, I accept this information to all the cells in my body. I accept this beautiful energy because we have these solar flares coming in and it's like coinciding with these solar flares and this is beautiful energy coming in and not everyone can accept this energy into their body because this is pure light, beautiful energy. Some people will reject this beautiful light energy and that's hard for them because uh, they don't have the light capacity to grab it. So be grateful. Thank you so much for people. And it's hard on your body, but um, please at least, at least try to take a few minutes each day to try to process this. You know, you hear the, if you hear the tones, like you hear the, um, you know, the tone in your, your head, you know, if you get the, um, the tone or whatever, <clears throat> tetanitis or whatever, <clears throat> it's, it's, you know, you can take that as a sign as like a, you're getting downloads. So try to just give yourself a few minutes. Like, look, I go to the bathroom. Just, you don't even even have, have to go. Just get away from your, you know, it's your kids or work, whatever. Just give me a minute, you know, <laughs> I need a minute. <sighs> Take time for yourself a few minutes each day or else you're going to end up in bed for two days, right? Because you need that time to process each day or else it's going to catch up to you. Because these intense energies it's more intense than it's ever been. And something that crying has said is that, and this is really deep, but that our solar system is kind of, it's because our solar system's moving in this galaxy. And then it's kind of moving into an area that's never been in before. And it's going to be exposed to like radiation and other things that we've never been exposed to before. And, so it's an exciting time and maybe we don't know what that means yet, but I believe that it's a beautiful time for love. It's a beautiful time for spirit. And that's scary for the logical mind, but it's beautiful for the soul. And it's a time of reflection. What does that mean for me? Who am I? Why am I here? But that doesn't mean who you are is lost. It just, you can keep who you are in the back of your mind. It's not lost. You, who you have developed as a person isn't lost. You've developed a lot in your lifetime. Your values, your morals, your intelligence, your life lessons. You know, but don't be attached to the truths, the truths that society tells you, the values that society trains you to believe. Because things aren't always as they seem in this world. And some very intense truths have been coming out like Epstein, shooters, and, and more. Um, but we as a society have a lot to face. And it's very hard and it's very scary. And we're all going through a lot right now, together. But we're stronger together, not apart. So rather than cutting each other off and, you know, getting mad at each other, this is a good time to come together and say, hey, you know what? I'm frustrated too. I I'm suffering too. Let's <sighs> take a deep breath together. We can do this together. <sighs> take a day of rest together. Hugs. Hugs for me to you. We can do this. We got this. <laughs> take care.